So because of the limited time for this exam, you have to be so precise and deliberate with every single sentence. Hopefully that's what you're getting out of this. I know exactly what's going in every sentence. I know how many sentences are in each part because I don't have time to do a sent an extra sentence that I don't need. I don't want to do that. So one sentence intro where you establish the key concept, answer the question. Um, if you get asked about two texts and it says compare them, the best way to start the introduction is whereas. Whereas text one considers this about anomalies, text two suggests this about anomalies. So starting with whereas is setting you up to make a direct comparison between the two texts. So I would always start my intro with that if you got asked about two texts for a six to eight marker. Remember six plus marker is a mini essay structure. So it's four body paragraph, it's four paragraphs technically, even though the intro is only one sentence, maybe it's two sentences if you need to elaborate. So one to two. Um, Conclusion is definitely only going to be one sentence. It's not that important. Prioritize the body paragraphs. You might be asking, well, what do, what do our body paragraphs need to look like? They need to look like this, the three or the four marker. If it's a, if it's a six marker, I would probably say you might be able to get away with just a three mark paragraph for each one. So you do a topic sentence, two pieces of analysis. I would, if you have time, aim for this, where you have a topic sentence, three pieces of analysis. Don't worry about the link sentence. It's not that valuable. It won't be the difference between getting full marks or one less. So I would have two of these kind of paragraphs where you have a topic sentence, three sentences of analysis. Do that twice for each one. Six and seven markers are basically the exact same. So just treat them the same way. I've only seen an eight marker once in someone's trial, but you'll mainly be dealing with five markers and then six and seven markers. With the five marker, that's more like this, although, but you can have one extra sentence of analysis with a link sentence, or you can even just do two shorter body paragraphs like this, one after the other. Any questions about that? Sorry, so what's the um, difference between sentence two and a three marker and a body and six marker? What's the difference between, sorry, what? So what's included in body one? How many techniques? Oh yeah, so up to, I, I would aim if you have time to do this. This would be the four mark response is like one of your body paragraphs. Okay, yeah. If you're running short on time, I, I believe you can get away with this for a six marker, let's say. Does that make sense? So you have a topic sentence, two sentences of analysis, but if you can afford to do an extra one, do an extra one. And then you have to go to the next paragraph and do the same thing. So what you're seeing here is you do you do everything you're seeing on the screen now twice for the two because you need to do that for two bodies, which means you need quite a lot more time for the six and seven markers, right? You guys need to have like 15 minutes, 15 minutes for a six or seven marker. So don't waste time on the three and four markers. You really want to be pumping those out in like five, six, seven minutes which means you need to be very clear on this structure and you need to have practiced applying it many times.